Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would have the five most smartest and useful lessons that my weight loss has taught me. Um, and I hope this helps you if you're in the middle of your journey or like me, if you're just maintaining now or if you're just about to start it. I feel like a lot of these things I wish I kind of knew before starting my journey, but I've learned them along the way. And these are five lessons that I feel like are so handy, so useful to share, and I'm just gonna get started. And the first lesson of the five that I wanted to talk about, and this is probably the most useful one. So if you're gonna take away anything from this video, it's this lesson right here, and that is portion control. How many times have you guys heard me banging on about portion control? And it's, it's so important, guys. It's like the key element to any success any maintaining and having a happy and healthy diet, I feel like it's really easy to just have an all or nothing mentality and have that, you know what, I'm gonna eat it all, I'm not gonna have any of it. But for me personally, I can have a little bit and have it little and often, I don't have to binge, and I've done a full video on binge eating, I will link it above so you guys can go and get to know the signs, get to know how I avoid it, how I tackle hunger, cravings, all of that jazz, but portion control guys, it's one of the most important lessons to learn and not only in regards to your eating habits but also in getting to know your body I feel like my body tells me so much that for years I've ignored just not tuned into and listened to your body is your biggest sign it tells you it, it drives you it lets you know when you're having too much or too little so just tune in and listen to your body ask yourself are you hungry or are you eating this portion of food because it is simply on your plate and that brings me on to the next point of small of plates like there are loads of things you guys can do to get to grips with what is a healthy portion size and portion control is quite difficult because again it's very much like beauty it's very much in the eye of the beholder it's very much a personal thing like what you deem to be a full portion but just have a think about when you're full I think that's the best thing to do in a lot of cases listen to your body have smaller plates and stock up on things on your plate that are greater for you so perhaps have a bit more veg than you do when it comes to carbs and that kind of thing just try and make smarter choices which leads me on to lesson number two which is eat smarter so eating smarter doesn't mean to eat boring you guys will know from my what I eat in a day videos I eat super super well and I don't just eat healthy foods like you'll find Krispy Kreme donuts in there you'll find the occasional takeaway the occasional whatever I do make a lot from scratch. I do cook a lot and I do bake a lot. It happens to be a passion of mine, but I can imagine if you found cooking soul destroying, it can be quite tricky, but you can buy a lot also pre-prepared that is actually quite good for you and better for you than standing at the stove all day. So, you know, try and get a happy medium, but do make yourself become more educated when it comes to food, smart choices, um, smart snacking, help to channel your cravings, all of that kind of thing. I feel like I only really got to grips about fake food. I've done a video on fake foods, I'll link it above, but I only really became to realize it when I was scanning things on my Weight Watchers app and thinking, wow, this is marketed as healthy, but it's costing me like nine Weight Watchers points. Why is that? What is in here that is not that great for me? And then when you dissect the nutritional values and everything like that, you think, oh, wow, I have been misinformed. And if you don't know, you don't know. But I think we can all learn from eating smarter, getting to know fake foods, and getting to know what nourishes us and drives us. And I've mentioned about keeping a food diary, diary whether you point or not. It's such a helpful thing for you guys to have because you can kind of food forecast, find out what your body was doing better at one week, perhaps you had a better loss, a better gain, perhaps your body was just better, you felt happier, what were you eating that week? It obviously drove you, obviously nourished you, and just having a bit of a think, and just becoming more aware, and I feel like my journey has definitely taught me to be more aware of my body, and more aware of the choices that I make, which are valuable lessons for the rest of my life, and are definitely better late than never, no matter what stage you are, it's not too late, get on that and definitely start thinking about smarter foods. The next one I wanted to talk about is self-control and to eat guilt-free. So when I was at the start of my journey and definitely when I was thinking about wanting to lose the weight and I'll pop the video here which talks about my whole reasons for going back to Weight Watchers last year and my reasons for doing so, how I felt at the time. Oh my god guys, I look so different in that video. It's crazy. But I did, I did talk about my insecurities and I did say the reason. And I found myself that when I was eating at that stage in my life that I felt really guilty. I knew I shouldn't have been eating it. I knew my body was telling me that I wasn't healthy. And that can come with a lot of guilt. 
um, and you you eat the guilt away basically and that just wasn't great for me so having a regimented plan and it's not even super regimented I would say it's the most flexible plan that you can get when it comes to weight loss because you can have everything in moderation but what it definitely taught me was that it's so much freer when you eat guilt free when you know that you're eating well 90% of the time that 10% of treats you have that 10% of like whatever you're having that's an indulgence let's say you don't feel guilty about it you actually think you know what I deserve this it's like when you go for a workout at the gym and then you come back like ravenous and you think you know what I deserve this and I'm not saying that you have to like justify food and all that kind of thing but what I will say is for me personally when I was bigger I had a lot of guilt a lot of food shaming that I was putting on myself and it's so nice now to know I can have everything in moderation and just enjoy it I mean how many times have you eaten something and totally regretted it and it's no way to live it's no way to it's not nice to put on your body on your anxiety levels and just there's a lot of crap going on in the world you really need to be giving yourself a lot of crap at home as well do you know what I mean? So it's definitely taught me to be kinder to myself and to um, eat guilt free and eat what I want in moderation, which I think again is one of the best lessons I've ever learned. And then the final fifth lesson, which again is super, super important, and this is one that I kind of briefly touched on is, I am so much more in tune with my body, both physically and mentally than I have ever, ever been. And you know you'll hear these stories where people say I knew there was something wrong I just knew and doctors told me nothing was wrong but my body kept saying to me my body kept giving me signs and then it turns out that there was something wrong or some you know hormones were going on or some kind of imbalance or thyroid or something I feel like your body is your best person to be listening to or the best thing that you can take advice from your body is going to be giving you signs left right and center and you need to listen to them you need to be in tune with it and what my weight loss journey has taught me is to listen to my body if I want a craving to eat it if I want a Krispy Kreme donut to eat it if I don't want to have a lot of carbs that week to stay away from them it's just taught me to be more in tune with my body and take ownership of my choices more and it's such a fa fabulous lesson to have because it's something that is lifelong, it's something that will continue to go on for the rest of my life and will just make me a happier, healthier version of myself which is what it's all about isn't it? It's all about happiness and health. It's not about what you look like, it's about how you feel on the inside because I can guarantee you when you feel good on the inside it radiates on the outside and it's there for all the world to see and that's the best place. So guys, those are the five main lessons that my weight loss has taught me and I really hope that you guys can relate to them. I hope it's giving you something to strive for. I hope it's giving you something to focus on. Um, because again, these are lessons that you don't even have to implement on a weight loss journey. I am not on a weight loss journey. I'm maintaining my weight and I'm eating well. And these lessons are so ingrained in me that they just make the choices that I make that much easier and it just relieves that stress so I hope it's done that for you guys today and giving you something to think about comment down below and let me know if you've had a weight loss journey um, what lessons you've learned or what lessons you've learned generally in maintaining your weight in your cooking choices your food choices your binging habits I'd love to hear from you so comment down below and we can have a chat about that I'll be hanging out in the comments and thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed I would love 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 to have you here we recently hit 23,000 which it's such a milestone for me. I'm so, so happy. So I would love it if you could subscribe for free to see more from me when it comes to Weight Watchers content, what I eat in a days, fashion, hauls, beauty favourites and all of that jazz. And I'll see you in my next video.